Hey guys, so welcome back to our next video. How's it going, guys? You're watching Grow Positive, and my name is Aldi. So as we all know, Call of Duty Mobile Global Beta is not coming out soon, and I've already made a video on it with proofs, and there is an icon on the screen. Right, if you are watching, you can watch it, but don't watch it right now. This video is all about the Q and A that happened between TapTap -tap application and Call of Duty Mobile Community. It is an official Q and A. As I told you guys in my previous video, that uh, an event is going on in China named as China Joy. And Call of Duty Mobile is going to answer some of our mostly asked questions and these questions include new updates, some leaks, upcoming features, a global beta, releasing date, story mood, zombie mood and a lot of features guys. So this video is going to be interesting if you want to know what kind of answers Call of Duty Mobile community gave to tablet application just stick with this video. So guys, the first question is really awesome and Call of Duty Mobile community give a really positive answer. So they ask them, what is the golden benefit of Call of Duty Mobile game? Uh, are those the CO coins, I mean CP coins of Call of Duty Mobile? They're pretty much asking, uh, are you guys making Call of Duty Mobile just for your benefit and money? But then they were like, we're not gonna make anything, uh, so it hurts our fandom. And they won't include anything like pay to win as PUBG Mobile. This is a really positive answer. And they said they're already earning a lot through different other games of Call of Duty members. They don't need money, they just want to provide a really good game to their fans uh, in mobile version. So guys, here's our first question which is about the user interface. And the question is, can the operation UI be highly customized? And their answer is, it is now customizable and very currently optimizing on the UI customization system of the first game. You can experience a new custom system in the future game cast. So in this answer, they're pretty much hinting a global beta of Call of Duty Mobile. Uh, it means we're gonna get global beta of Call of Duty Mobile, but it's not coming soon as I told you guys in my first video, but they said they're gonna still improve UI system of our Call of Duty Mobile. Like they're gonna change our lobby and our user interface system. I mean seriously guys, our UI is absolutely perfect in Call of Duty Mobile, but they still wanna improve their game and it's really good to see our game and its community to working on their game. So here's the next question, is there any passive skills such as speeding up the running speed, quickly cutting the gun, killing the enemy and adding bullets, and stimulating the positive gas to increase the playability? And their answer is, this is true. There are a lot of passive skills in game, in the near future, these soldiers will be able to experience it. So they're pretty much saying, yes, they're gonna include some other passive skills in Call of Duty Mobile in near future also. We already have passive skills, but as we also got a leak of uh, our next upcoming passive skill, which is air climbing, like with the ability of air climbing, you can climb the more taller heights, as just as the ledge grabbing of Call, uh, PUBG Mobile, but in Call of Duty Mobile, we will be able to access more taller heights. It includes buildings, walls, and everything. So the next question is, there are too few gun accessories. Are there any plans to join the thermal imaging and double clips? The current accessories also have only the grip and silencer to change the appearance of the weapon. And their answer is, Call of Duty, hand tour of accessories and weapons will continue to update. Players can freely assemble to meet the demand for arms. So they're pretty much saying we're gonna get new arms and some new accessories for our guns and they're also gonna include some new weapons in Call of Duty Mobile. So it's a good thing to see new guns in Call of Duty Mobile in the near future, yeah? And this question is actually important. The question is, are there any technology accessories such as the Hobbit monitor? thermal imaging, scope, and target indicator. The answer is Call of Duty Mobile Games has no target indicator. The accessory is not in our plan. We will continue to enrich the high-tech accessories and add it to the game. So all they want to say, they're not going to include any hardware monitor or any biological tech, but, but they will include some more tech accessories. They will make Call of Duty Mobile pretty much better, like we have a lot of rocket launchers, you know, and the computer-based system will be able to look through the walls and some stuff like that. And here's the next question, which is about the Deagle. 
As you know, PUBG recently introduced Deagle in PUBG and now here we got answer by the quality mobile regarding the Deagle. Question is, will the Shine Eagles come out? The rate of fire must be fast and the faith must be there. And their answer is Call of Duty Mobile Games currently does not have a Sand Eagle which is Deagle but providing a wealth of weapons diversity is the direction we have been working hard and may be launched later. They're pretty much trying to say they're not focusing on to add Deagle now but they will plan to include Deagle. They're not saying that it is completely out of the box and all they want to say that they will provide us diversity of different weapons in your future and it will may include Deagle also. Next question, will there be a story mode? Guys, this question is the soul of Call of Duty Mobile, trust me. All they want to ask to Call of Duty Mobile is there going to be a campaign in Call of Duty Mobile and their answer is we can look forward to our current core model which is traditional multiplayer competition. They're focusing on multiplayer mode for now but they didn't say that it's completely out of the box. Which means we might see story mode in future in Call of Duty Mobile. So the next question is about the practice mode and the question is will be there any practice or training mood and their answer is currently in the plan I'll keep you updated in near future so guys in my opinion if you want to do practice or training then you can go and join a private match and then you can play against bars to do a little bit of practice for your aiming or anything uh, but how do you call it duty mobile they will include a really separate section for our training mode or practice just as PUBG mobile and there is our next question which is is there any weather system going to be in future this is so awesome question guys and their answer is pretty short and it is planning on it just three words all they want to say that they're planning on to add different weathers uh, i'm assuming that we're gonna see some dynamic weathers like it would be better to see like smoke in our battery all section and like the day and night mode just as pubg mobile in battery real and it doesn't make sense that if they're gonna add weather system multiplayer uh, but i'm assuming that they will add weather system in near future in the battery real section of call of duty mobile oh yes guys this question is so juicy which is is the zombie mode is an action objective mood or is it an actual map and their answer is zombie mood we're working on its gameplay and soldier would be able to experience it in next open test of the game this is really important answer all they said zombie mode isn't zombie mode it's not a different map or anything but they're still working to make our zombie mode better and they're working on its gameplay. I mean the zombie mode of Call of Duty Mobile is a lot better than PUBG Mobile because it's pretty much scary but it is coming soon in our beta version but it was available in our alpha version. The reason why it is coming soon because they're working on zombie mode and we're gonna see zombie mode this time a lot much better than our alpha mode. And in our last line, they also give us another hint about the next open test of the game, which is the global beta. The next question is, will it support sniper open breathing? Uh, I mean, it is kind of weird to ask Call of Duty Mobile uh, such kind of question, but these are the questions that we forced tap tap application to go and ask to Call of Duty Mobile. And their answer is, at the present, there will be breathing effects when the sniper rifle is open, but considering the complexity of operation of the mobile game, the breath holding function will not be introduced. So it currently, if we use our sniper, then you know we can hear breathing sound effect. But when they will introduce the original sniper in Call of Duty Mobile, they will remove the breathing effect. It is because it is mobile game version, you know, and it is hard to provide every single PC game version feature. And you know, it will take a lot of storage and small devices would feel a lot of trouble. So guys, here is our last question and the answer is really sad. I've also made a detailed video on this answer. If you wanna know, you'll see the end screen of that video in the end. And this question is everyone's biggest concern. And the question is, what is a national service public beta? 
They're pretty much asking when is global betas coming out and their answer is still not sure yet. I'm sorry to let everyone wait so long. There are some other factors that our team can't overcome. A thousand words, thank you very much for your tolerance, waiting and understanding. We will do our best to live up to everyone's expectation. I hope everyone can continue to support Call of Duty Mobile Games and this also defines that Call of Duty Mobile is not coming soon anywhere. And it's my prediction we will see Call of Duty Mobile next year, but according to the community manager of Call of Duty Mobile, which is Chris Plummer, she told us that they were going to launch Call of Duty Mobile this year, but we are hoping that we will see Call of Duty Mobile at the end of this year or at the very start of our next year. And if you want to know about the detail about the releasing date and this answer, then you can watch my dad video and screen is at the loss of this video. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys like this video. If you have a German Discord server, links in the description. Go say hi to me. I would love to talk to you. And I'm going to make my next video on some update links that we got. And uh, there is a female character is coming out and I'll show you a picture and a lot of stuff. So, so subscribe to my channel if you want to know about more update links related to Call of Duty Mobile video. Here I upload double daily Call of Duty Mobile videos every single day. So yeah guys, that's it for today. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. So remember, peace, love and unity. My name is Oli and I'm signing out.